Hi everyone, I'm Reese from Efficient Gaming, and today we're continuing our coverage of the Witcher Monster Slayer's quests with the quest Sword in the Stone. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. There should be a small button just in the bottom right hand corner. Doing so will really help us grow and support the channel, so thanks. Alright, let's check out the quest gameplay. Alright, so we're starting right from the beginning where we get the information that gives us the ability to get the quest which is just from the blacksmith. Now, you can either buy this directly from him, or you can wait until it is a full moon and complete the blacksmith's quest, and this will be a reward at the end of it. And that's the way I did it. I waited till the full moon, and so we got this for free. So he's just given us the map, and we're going to go check it out. So if we go into our journal, we've now got a new option for quests like the Sword and the Stone. And if we click on the map, um, so I received a map from Lothar. He told me it led to a treasure, so I thought I should check it out. And a map with drawings that indicate the locations of a valuable reward. We literally just click read. And because I wasn't sure that that happened, we click on it again just to make sure that that happened. And then it only as we exit the quest thing that says the map has been updated. Click on the map and it reveals the location of the sword, which is just over there. And pretty much every time I walk into town or walk past there, uh, or go to play anything, I walk directly past that. So, uh, it must have been really well hidden without the instructions, because otherwise I would have thought I'd seen it. But cool, so there's a big stone there, and there's a sword in it, and we're going to go check it out actually really cool, you can see the sword in the stone from the overworld map. Alright, let's have a look around. We see a sword. What else can we see? Oh, there's some writing underneath. We can't click on that yet. No worries. Let's just click on the sword. Oi, look! There's a sword stuck in that stone. See the intricate decorations? Must be worth a fortune. Come on, let's pull her out. Okay, let's have a go at pulling it out. Damn, it's no use. Wait, I think there's writing on the stone. Oh look, Thurston... Thorsten... Notice the writing that we already knew was there. We would have read it first if we had the option. I be the Lord of Light, forged in my mother's glow. My name shall ye know when her eyes shut tight, and summon me when they open anew. Sounds like the key is its mother. Any ideas? Take a look at the pommel. Kinda looks like a sun, don't you think? The sun's its mother. That means you'll find the sword's name at, at sunset. Huh? Hmm, and call it at dawn. Let's come back at sunset. Alright, so it's clearly not sunset now, and you can see that in the top left hand corner of the map. And this is when Google told me that um, dusk was, so we're walking there, but I'm skeptical that anything's going to happen, because if you look at that icon of the weather in the top left hand corner of the screen, it doesn't look very uh, dusky and the vampires are already out, which pretty much indicates that it's night. So I wouldn't always go by the time of dawn and dusk that Google says. So we go in and we click on it, and it's a sword in a stone. It's like, come back at dusk. And I'm like, well, I thought I was, but yeah, fair enough. So now it's actually dusk, which you can see by the uh, icon in the top left-hand corner where the weather is. Let's see what happens now. These shining letters, Deet Mene, Dawnbringer, an elder. I need speech. to return at dawn and say this name aloud. All right, well that was a quick um, visit at dusk. Now we'll have to come back at dawn. So next day, we're here. It's dawn. You can see that again by the icon in the top left-hand corner. Dietmine. Ooh, an 
And here is the sentinel that um, Lothar talked about when he was handing us the map. The sentinel that guards the sword. A golem. I was just wondering where the guardian of Lothar's was. Let's battle this golem. Now, because we weren't actually able to prepare for this, and I've got a terrible sword that's not effective, and I haven't got any bombs, we are probably going to lose this fight. It's completely different if you're able to prepare. <laughs> there we go. We lost. Right, let's see what happens if we click on it again. Will it let us prepare, or do we need to swap our sword out here? There we go, I'm going to swap the sword out here anyway. So we're going to use Malith. And... Oh good, we can use a Demerotian Bomb now. That's going to make this part much, much easier. And that's probably all I'm going to need along with Malith. I do like how it bends over slightly and when the monster turns you can still see the sword in its back. If you look just at the top left of the screen anytime something happens you can see it poking up or when it goes to attack you, you can see it. It's very good that they've included that. And as he falls down, there is our prize. 150 XP and our first free sword, Dawnbringer. Excellent. Let's go check out the sword. A steel sword that increases all damage dealt at night by 10%. If that includes things like signs as well, that can be quite overpowered. I'd say it's even potentially in league with uh, Meleth in terms of DPS. That's pretty nice sword. Obviously it's a steel sword, not a silver sword, but yeah, that's amazing. Alright, let's have a quick read. I received a map from Lothar. He told me it'd lead me to a treasure, so I thought I should investigate. I found a sword that was somehow trapped in a large boulder. No amount of human or witcher strength could pull it from the stone. However, Thorsten and I deduced that at sunset the sword's name would appear and that we should speak the name at sunrise. When I returned to the stone at dusk, I saw that some of the inscription letters were glowing. They spelled out the sword's name, Diet Manet, Dawnbringer. At dawn, I spoke the name. Wasn't too surprised when the rock turned out to be a dormant golem. I defeated it and took the sword, a nice piece of quality elven steel. Well, that is a extremely worthwhile quest to do. It gives you a free sword with what I would say, if that is really 10% damage to everything inclusive of signs that is an extremely valuable sword obviously for fighting things at night time so I definitely recommend this quest as something to prioritize if you're a low level and you fight anything at night time because this sword is going to be hugely beneficial for you in those respects in fact if you're at this stage and don't have a silver sword again being the fact that this sword gives you 10% extra damage, it's not quite as much as the silver sword advantage will give you for fighting a monster with silver, but it will make it e that just that little bit easier to defeat those monsters, even without a silver sword. So this is great all round for everyone, for everything. Thinking about the stats and how it's got 10%, hopefully to signs and other damage as well, I think I've got some interesting builds for this one, which you might see in some later videos, but you'll have to stay tuned for those and see. I hope you guys enjoyed the quest. Let me know how you went with it in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and thanks for your continued support of the channel. The best way to support us would be to hit that subscribe button, which is always in the lower right-hand corner of the video, and I've got a big, massive one in the center of the screen right now. You'll see on the left one of the videos that I think you'll enjoy most. And on the right, you'll see a playlist relating to whatever video series that you're currently watching. Subscribes help our channel the most, as well as interacting with each video. For example, commenting below, letting me know your thoughts, and what you might want to see next. Please make sure to subscribe, as I make a lot of content, and I'm sure you'll find quite a lot of that content interesting to you. But anyway, thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll catch you later. Bye! <laughs>